Having a convertible car makes any car 10 times more fun. Also, who likes their head squished against the roof of their car? Yeah, me either. Well, I'm Chris with Automotive and be sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel. And let's get to the video. Here are my top 5 convertible cars under 10k. First, we have a 2006 Nissan 350Z for $7,000 and you could definitely find it cheaper. This one only has 94,000 miles. With 287 to 300 horsepower and 19 to 25 miles per gallon, and it's rolling a 3.5 liter V6. This is essentially the Brookman's GTR, but who is judging? I'm not, because the 0 to 60 is 5.5 seconds, and that's good enough for me. The 350Z is a very stylish car. The one I've been showing has been very well taken care of. You can dress these cars very nice, and they are very much customizable if you're into that kind of stuff. Oh. And they're easily driftable. Number two is the 2007 Saab 93 for $5,900. 210 to 250 horsepower and 22 to 30 miles per gallon. The year 60 is about 8 seconds, depending on the model you grab. This car's interior is very simple and beautiful, with nice colors accenting the whole trim of the car. Very gorgeous, with firm, comfortable seats and high quality materials. This car only has 92,000 miles on it, which isn't bad, and looks to be very well taken care of. Number 3 is a 2007 Saturn Sky for $7,500 with 65,000 miles, 177 to 260 horsepower and 22 to 31 miles per gallon. This thing has a 7.2 second 0 60, but if you happen to grab a Redline Edition, you will get a 5.1 second 0 60. Being a Saturn, there is automatic dislike for this car. However, I personally do not hate it. It easily competes with other cars in this segment, and it's actually pretty decent. This one is pretty cool looking, besides the fact that it's a bit riced out. I wouldn't necessarily pick this as my next car, but it makes it on the list, and no one really thinks about this kind of car anyways. Number 4 is a 2008 BMW 335i for about $10,000, with 98,000 miles. It has a twin turbo 6 cylinder with 300 horsepower and 17 to 26 miles per gallon and a 4.8 second 0 to 60. And get this, it's rear wheel drive, 5 passenger car, which can either be a sedan, coupe, or convertible. The base price stickered at $40,000 and now you can get it for one fourth the price. Not a bad deal. Like all BMWs, this 335 is no exception having an incredible interior. A car you would never want to get out of the front seat and be 100% disappointed if you had to be the passenger and not the driver. No way around it, it is a great ride. This car is very well taken care of. Number 5 is an 08 Mini Cooper S for $7,950 with 99,000 miles. It's 1.6 liter four cylinder is giving it 172 horsepower, which it has a surprising 6.1 second 0 to 60 with 26 to 34 miles per gallon. And that's not that bad. Get this car if you're concerned about how much gas you're using. Mini Coopers are cool, but I have never been a huge fan of them. Besides the dash, I like the interior scheme on this one. The brown and white stitching is very nice. I hate how the Speedo is to the right of the steering wheel. It's a little distracting. This car isn't a bad choice. Obviously, I picked a BMW 335i out of this list because I've always loved BMWs. And it's German with 300 horsepower, making a 4.8 0 to 60. Sure, the 350z pulls a close second due to it being cheaper to maintain and more realistic to toy around with. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button down below, subscribe and leave me feedback so I can better my content. This is Automotivate, have a good day.